thank you to our sponsor for curating this video. Let's score art based on 14 qualities. Use our nine point scale to score how clear and smart each quality is used. Reply one, two, or three for low quality. Use four, five, or six for okay quality. And seven, eight, or nine for high quality. So now let's score this art. Subject. Is there a smart and clear use of subject? Appreciate the composition when there's a clear destination, interest, or focus. But when the subject is obscure, ambiguous, or nothing, lower your score. I scored the arrangement in eight. I see how the composition captures my attention and focuses my eyes toward a point of interest. What's your score? Story. Is there a smart and clear use of story? Appreciate the composition when the arrangement of elements evokes a feeling or narrative. But when there's an unclear message or confusing meaning, lower your score. I scored the arrangement in eight. I see how the elements evoke a deliberate story. What's your score? Medium. Is there a smart and clear use of medium? Appreciate the artwork when there is a clear confidence, control, and command over the medium. But when the work seems unfinished, amateurish, or rushed, lower your score. I scored the artwork a seven. I see the artist controls the materials really well. What's your score? Color. Is there a smart and clear use of color? Appreciate the composition when the color palette is limited, mostly muted, and clean. But when the colors clash, are loud or muddy, lower your score. I scored the work a six. I feel the artist knows they need to work within a limited palette and is trying to control the saturations of the color. What's your score? Value. Is there a smart and clear use of value? Appreciate the composition when the lights and darks are well orchestrated, distinct, and support the story. But when the light and dark relationships are unplanned, lack clarity, and muddle the meaning, lower your score. I scored the artwork a seven. I see the values support the subject and remains clear when squinting your eyes. What's your score? Style. Is there a smart and clear use of style? Appreciate the artwork when there's a clear, authentic voice or a one-of-a-kind way of doing things. But when the work seems similar to other works, lower your score. I scored the work a six. I feel there's a confidence in how they're communicating their vision. What's your score? Structure. Is there a smart and clear use of structure? Appreciate the composition when it's well ordered, aligned, and arranged. But when the elements are intuitively placed, disconnected, or unplanned, lower your score. I scored the work a six. I feel the placement of most of the elements is considered. 
What's your score? Arabesque. Is there a smart and clear use of arabesques? Appreciate the composition when there is a clear use of enclosures or a graceful flow of movement. But when the composition seems rigid, static, or frozen, lower your score. I scored the arrangement an 8. I see C-shaped enclosures within the composition, and there are graceful movements that flow throughout the composition. The movements support the story. What's your score? Shape. Is there a smart and clear use of shape? Appreciate the composition when there's an intelligent distinction between the large masses of shapes, such as the subject and its surrounding elements, but when there's a lack of clarity or meaningful distinctions, lower your score. I scored the artwork a 7. I see the distinctions between the foreground and background elements. What's your score? Edges. Is there a smart and clear use of edges? Appreciate the composition when the edges are groomed, crafted, and intelligent. But when the edges seem unattended, intuitive, or random, lower your score. I scored the artwork a 7. I see the edges are deliberately considered. What's your score? Energy. Is there a smart and clear use of energy? Appreciate the composition when the essence of the subject is being visually expressed. But when the composition focus mostly on outward appearances and details, lower your score. I scored the work of five. It seems the artist is not only focused on the outward details. What's your score? Repetition. Is there a smart and clear use of repetition? Appreciate the composition when a rhythm, pattern, or pulse is evident. But when the elements are arranged in an irregular or clumsy way, lower your score. I have to score the work of four. I feel the artist may have been thinking about repetition, but really not with any level of intensity or intentionality. What's your score? Harmony. Is there a smart and clear use of harmony? Appreciate the composition when your eyes pass around the image with ease. But when your eyes require extra effort to move through the work or they get distracted or stuck, lower the score. I scored the work a six. I feel edges help guide my eye around the image and the low contrast make it easy to move through the image. What's your score? Signature. Is there a smart and clear use of signature? Harmonizes with the image. But when the signature seems intrusive, lower the score. I scored the arrangement an 8. I see how the signature is positioned in a great place. Its contrast is low and size is sensible. What's your score? Special thanks to our Companions of Art and Culture. Thank you for sponsoring this video and helping us nourish many more souls with art.
Subscribe to the channel, like this video, and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on our newest video. Try art scoring another painting by clicking the video on top. For details on becoming a sponsor, watch the bottom video. Always remember, you count to art. And on that, we all say, Boom Bella.